and you guys can see I have a new look as well. It seems like every time I come back, I look different. But you guys know how I love to switch up my look. And not only that, that's just how I am in person. So I always want to give you guys details and keep you updated because you guys are always asking, which is just fine. So I have an update on my hair and I also have almost the whole Cinderella Mac collection. Now I know when a MAC launch is like over a week past, it's like so old, but I still wanted to go over everything and kind of just give you guys my thoughts because a ton of you guys asked what did I think about it. I love some stuff, I like some stuff, and some things I just do not like at all. So I'm going to go over that. And also you guys, my nails. My nails are gone. So I wanted to give them a break, so excuse my nails. I did not have them put any polish on it, any clear, any anything. I just wanted my nails to have a chance to heal. And I also like put a flash tattoo on here to make my hands look a little cuter even though that's not really working. So anyway you guys, let me go on to the other part that's different about me and that is my hair. And I wanted to sit a little closer this time so you guys could see like more of the detail. You guys could see the pretty curl. And I am just loving this like, oh my gosh, I am over the moon about this hair. I literally just put it in today. It was giving me a little trouble because I never do curly hair so it was kind of hard for me to get it in the right style. But installing it was super easy because you guys, this is actually the curl pattern that this hair comes in. This is a new Valencia Rose hair curl pattern and this is called the Spanish Curl. Now this right here, I curled myself and I used my Remington wand. You guys can get this at Target. You can see from the top to the bottom, the curl pattern is exactly the same. It is so beautiful, oh my gosh. Like, Valencia Rose is just getting better and better. You guys know my last install, oh, was the Bohemian Twist, how can I forget? And that's more of like a curly twist. And this one is like, I think it's just what they call it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this curl is out of control. It's like, it really does look like a Spanish curl. I really don't know how to explain it, but I am just loving it. Let me show you guys the back. Isn't it just so cute and springy? And it looks like my natural hair. That's why I just love it. I know I'm going to get so many compliments on this. And literally, you do not have to style this. You just put it in and that's it. You guys are probably thinking that this is a wig and no, you guys, it's not. I actually did an install. So you guys know my how to install your Valencia Rolls video. That's how I did this one. So it's actually stuck to my head. So it is in permanently until I take it out. So I think I'm gonna get at least to Vegas with this. I'm gonna do, ooh, you guys know what? How about I do this? I'm gonna keep it in for three weeks. You guys know for me that's long. I'm gonna keep it in for three weeks and then I'm gonna do an update video and show you guys how it holds up. Because this, oh my gosh, this curl is like the bomb. It's just so natural. And it really, really, really looks like it could just be your pretty natural hair. But yes, you guys, this is four bundles of 22 inches and a 16 inch closure. And let me show you guys the closure. The closure is really good as well, as usual. So make sure to check out Valencia Rose hair if you're looking for virgin hair and you're up in the air. I would say between this and my Nicki Minaj inspired white hair with the black roots, this is my favorite in a while, like since my light pink hair. 
other than that you guys this hair you literally put it in and then it's already like this i did not do anything to it so i will have the link below for you guys oh my gosh it's so soft i am just like oh i love it so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the cinderella haul you guys know, you guys already know, I always have a backstory, okay? You guys wanna see what I was able to get online? It is so sad, let me show you. This was all I was able to get when it launched online. This collection sold out so fast that I did not even know what to do with myself. I looked and I blinked and everything was gone. None of this stuff I wanted, I just knew that I better get it because I knew this was all I could get. So the first item that I got online was this really pretty eye gloss and this is in the color Pearl Varnish. Oh, of course, let me show you guys the packaging, I'm sorry. It looks like this. Super pretty, I do like the framing. It's kind of like that vintage look, light blue and gold. And then the packaging on everything is this really pretty like pearl, purple, pearl, and like blue. In person, it is crazy because when you look at it, like it is purple, it is not blue. That's what makes it so cool. So here is the eye gloss. I was really excited about this. As soon as I swatched it, look at this. Like, do you see that, you guys? I was like, whoa, it is thick. And how it looks. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So this is an eye gloss. This would be something for like a nighttime look or a backstage look. This is not like a work or all day look because this gloss it is not a long wearing product. It is just like for photo shoots and things like that. This isn't something I see myself wearing a lot, but for photo shoots, this stuff is gorgeous. The other thing I got was the mascara, which I was like, I don't even want the mascara. You know what I mean? I wanted all the other cool stuff. This is the Studio Fix Lash, so it just looks like this which it is always great to have an extra mascara. I have not tried this one, so I can't really tell you how it works. And then the last thing I picked up was the Fluid line in Macro Violet. And I do not know why in every launch, why does MAC come out with this purple eyeliner? Like, why? They've had this in so many launches that it's not even funny. I'm just like, really, why? I hate this stuff, you guys. The consistency, it like, you have to build it and build it for it to go on. This is two layers right there. And then it like, is kind of sheer. And then you guys, not to mention, don't try to use this as a base on your eyelid thinking you're gonna do a smoky. No, this stuff will tear your eyelids apart, okay? Because as soon as it sets, it's there. So don't try to use this as a base. But of course, it's a collector's edition, so I got it anyway. If I did not luck out, you guys, this would be all that I would have from the Cinderella collection. How sad, right? Now, let me tell you guys the story. The night before, on that Wednesday, I told myself, time, you're gonna get up and you're gonna go wait in line. You know, I was cool with waiting in line. I don't know what happened, you guys. I literally went about my day, did not think one thing about that Cinderella launch until around three in the afternoon, I went on Twitter and one of you guys said, did you get anything from the Cinderella launch? I was like, oh my gosh. I like almost, I almost wanted to cry. So I was like, okay, let me just call up to the store and just see, right? So I called, I said, hi, um, do you guys have anything from the Cinderella launch? And the lady said, no, we sold out of everything. But she said, but what do you, what are you looking for? And I told her, I said, I want everything from the collection. And she said, is this time? And I said, yes, and she recognized my voice, you guys. I was so happy. She was holding one of everything of the collection for one of her clients. Her client did not come in and get the stuff, you guys. 
and this it was literally the last of almost everything she said come in you can get the whole entire collection my client did not show I was like you know I saw the light coming from the makeup gods I was like oh my gosh I was like thank you makeup gods so I ran to the store she showed me everything that she had she said everything sold out in 30 minutes that there was a huge line outside before they even open and that's how it was at every location so i have quite a few products so i'm gonna go through them quickly so this is the eyeshadow palette and this is called stroke of midnight and it's super super pretty it looks like this the colors are gorgeous the colors you guys I don't know why but they look so expensive in here and you guys probably already heard that all of these colors are already in max collection except this last one and it's called stroke of midnight so I'm just gonna name them off there's vapor there's ploof there's Omega there's Cory there's satin taupe and there's stroke of midnight and believe it or not I only have two of these colors. I have Satin Taupe, which is one of the most beautiful colors you'll ever get at MAC, and I have Omega, but I have never even tried it, and it's that brown. It looks like this. These colors are off the hook. Here is Stroke of Midnight, and this is actually my first time swatching everything. That color, literally, I just swatched it once, and that is how it looks that is super pretty my verdict is even if you have these colors you guys yes you need to get this palette I don't know why but just because it's this collection and it makes it look so beautiful so next I have an iridescent powder and this is in coupe de chic I actually love this one it's like a rose gold. It's an iridescent powder, so it's meant like for a highlight. So you guys know my In For A Treat that I use. I actually have it on now, where it's like an iridescent powder. It's not quite a highlight, but of course, since it's iridescent, it does reflect. Literally, that's all I have. I did not do a concealer or anything. It just gives you the most natural highlight. So since this is pink, you'd use it around your cheek area the only bummer about it I'm like using this tissue so that you can see how it looks it does not swatch well you guys you see that it's already like getting kind of those oil marks so I don't know what's happening to this <laughs> oh my gosh you guys look it's getting worse as I go so you're going to have to use like a really, really dense natural hair brush like this and really like work your way into, into it to get the product and then see it'll go like that. So let me try this on real quick. So it is really pretty. It just will give you like that sheen that you're looking for. So I got that. I also got, let's see what this is. This is a lipstick in Free as a Butterfly. Oh, both of their lipsticks are luster. So you guys know I hate the lipsticks. Here's the first color. I was hoping that their lipsticks were going to be a satin. So that, you know, you could put it on sheer, but you could also build it for a pretty color. Because look at this. Like, you guys, it is nothing. Like, lusters are literally like lip glosses to me. What is the point? So, I hate these. I'm never going to use these. But out of every MAC collection, no matter what, you have to get the lipsticks. Next, I have the other eye gloss in Lightly Toped. This one is absolutely gorgeous as well. And look how pretty that is, you guys. Oh my gosh. <gasps> look at that. You guys, it is so thick that it's not even funny. So let me put this next to this one. Look at that. 
so pretty like I love these like I just want to put my finger in there and eat them they're so thick and pretty okay so I got that and let's see what this is this is oh my gosh I think out of everything this is like the one this is like the Willy Wonka golden ticket and of course that is none other than the glass slipper lip gloss that's what it looks like the lip gloss is already iridescent itself like the lip gloss and then it has an iridescent glitter do you guys see this okay that is glass slipper lip gloss so that is a must have. Let's see, this is the other lipstick, which really, I don't even need to show you guys this because it looks just the same to me. This is called Royal Ball. And I'm sorry, I don't think I gave you guys a good look at the lipstick container. Even like the sticker is gold, everything's super cute. And this one is more of a pretty peachy pink. Now you guys, wouldn't that have been gorgeous if this was a satin? And then you would just be able to just smother your lips with this really pretty light peachy pink. That's what I had in mind. But no, instead you guys look at this. It's just nothing again. This is building a little better than the other one. So see that? with this glass slipper over it would be super pretty if you do get one of the lipsticks get royal ball and we're gonna go on to beauty powder which the beauty powders used to be the bomb back in the dame edna days and that other collection it was black it was like a prism and it was super expensive back then beauty powders were like the real MAC Beauty Powders were around the $60 mark because they were really like high-end beauty powder. Now, I guess they made it more affordable and they changed it to, you know, kind of they put them in more of the launches. I know Maleficent, their beauty powder was horrible and all the other beauty powder powders have been horrible. So this, I don't understand it. The beauty powders are supposed to be matte and they're supposed to be for an all over porcelain finish, okay? This one is actually iridescent as well. So that's what that looks like. And then let's try that here. See, mm-mm. It's like an iridescent pro powder. Like that's what I'm getting out of it. This, what, why, no. I think most of the products in this collection was for the vanity viewpoint, just to like have a pretty layout, not so much as beautiful products to wear but you can pass on that other than glass slipper this was like truthfully i think this is the best product as far as just the hype around it and this is a pigment and this is in the color evil stepmother the mac store that i went to they only got three of these in this is super limited and they had to use one for display so literally i was one of two people who got this i have not swatched it because i wanted to save my thoughts for you guys Ooh, it looks super cool i hope you guys can get a kind of good look at that here's like the first view let's see you guys wow that's super cool i think it's pretty so if you guys look everyone like thinks this is purple but if you start dragging it out see if you start dragging it out it's actually black so it's black but it is infused with an iridescent pigment it is like these super tiny purple particles that mix so well it makes the pigment come off as a purple i think this is cool because it's kind of like a trick it's kind of like you think it's purple but it's black just like evil stepmother so i think that's really cool i like that idea so that is all i got from the collection you guys 
I do like almost everything you guys know. I hate the lipstick, that beauty powder, oh, the fluid line. And I do love how they introduced some new things like the eye gloss. I think they really spent time on that lip gloss and got it perfect. I Oh, wait, I thought I had two lip glosses. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, this poor little lip gloss was in here. He was gonna get left. I thought I had the other lip gloss, so the other lip gloss is called Happily Ever After. The other cool thing is that the inside of all the packages are gold as well. You guys know how I love my little packaging extras. Now this is super cute. I would totally put this on top of the peach lipstick. So it's like a pink. It's pink with purple. Goodness, it's so hard to say. Okay. So the lip gloss is pink, but the reflection glitter, it's not just one reflection, it's a reflection of pink one way and then blue the other. It is just so pretty, you guys. It's kind of like the eye glosses. It looks way better in person. Oh gosh, that is really pretty. So just so you guys can get a view of that. Truthfully, I think if you got both of the lip glosses, the pigment, the palette, and one of the eye glosses, I would really be happy with that. So I really hope, oh my gosh, you guys, this lip gloss is so pretty that I have to put it on. Oh, and by the way, I am actually wearing Nicki Minaj Viva Glam 2 today, okay, with the purple. And for the liner, I did the Strip Down Liner by MAC, and I did Riri's Nude. So you do the Strip Down first, and then you go over this on the outside, and then I put the purple. So hold on, girl. Oh, shoot. I'm about to put the lip gloss, and it's going to be popping. Oh. <gasps> The reflection is blue. <gasps> oh my gosh. No, they did not. Do you guys see that? Like, I have on blue lip gloss. If someone has that lip gloss that they, if they can sell that to me happily ever after, yes. This just shocked me. You guys, I need another one. So you guys, I am going to get on out of here. I still have to pack. So I was thinking I could do a vlog because me and my mom are gonna spend my last night here together. We're gonna get a hotel room and do a little shopping and you know, like have a little slumber party. So maybe I can vlog that for you guys and then I can vlog me getting there. I can maybe show you a little bit of my new house. And maybe I can do that. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. I think that'll kind of be fun to take you guys along with me. I hope you guys like my Cinderella haul and my thoughts on it. Make sure to thumbs up this video and please subscribe to my channel. So many of you guys watch me and are not subscribed. So click the link that's coming up and just press subscribe, please. So you guys, until next time, I will talk to you later.